Hey gymnast, welcome back to Kazam Gymnastics. I'm Coach Kazam. We're back with another ring workout. For today's workout, all you're gonna need is your own body and a set of rings. I'm also gonna be using a bench. You can use a stool, a coffee table, a block or something to elevate your feet on for the part, uh, portion of the workout. Um, now I have the rings set up here um, just above hip height or my hands are just about uh, at hip height. So the rings are gonna stay there the entire uh, workout and we won't have to move them up and down. Now, one thing to note, when we go upside down, the rings are set up so the back of my head can barely touch the ground if I stick my head out. If I tuck my chin in, I'm going to be off the ground for one of our elements. So let's get a quick little warm up in and then we'll get uh, right into our skill work. Let's start with some shoulder circles. Just kind of exploring single arm circles. Checking in with the body. You feeling stiff today, feeling good. What's going on? Good. And then bending through the elbows overhead. A little bit of a tricep lat stretch. Swing those arms back behind you. Awesome. And then we're going to drop to the ground. Hike forward fold, bouncing for one, two, three. Hands up tall. Little back bend and back down for one, two, three. And up. And down for one, two, three. Good. Let's stretch out the wrist. Fingers go on the ground and backwards. Again, just checking in with the forearms any aches and pains in the wrist. Now, one of the elements we're gonna be doing is a false grip position on the wrist, holding on to the rings. So that is important that we warm up the wrist here. And you can start to kind of make a little circle side to side. And then fingers can come inwards, circles side to side. And we're gonna to go to the top of the hand, making some gentle circles, front to back. Nice and easy. When you've done five, 10 reps there, you can go onto the top of the hand. We wanna warm up that false grip. So just making a few circles in the wrist with the hand upside down moving back and forth, exploring through that, trying to get some movement in. And let's make a little false grip. So you wanna really lock out the elbow, come over the wrist as much as you can without bending through the elbow, and then curl the fingers in for five reps. Nice. And then switching sides, you can place the hand on top of the other, hand goes upside down and just rotating through the wrist. Nice and easy. And lock out the wrist and the elbow curling through the fingers. Five reps should be good. Nice, and then just give those fingers a little stretch, pushing through the palms. Okay, so first skill we're gonna do today is a basic muscle up. Now there's different ways that we can do this. We're only focusing on the transition. So I want you to bring your toes to the ground underneath you, so you're sitting on your feet, toes on the ground. I want you to keep this ball script so you're putting your wrist in the ring and holding on to that ball script. You're gonna sit back, lock out the elbows, 
turn the wrist and then only assisting as much as you need to. You're gonna notice those toes don't do a whole lot here for you. You're gonna lean back, pull yourself up and simply transition into the bottom of the dip. We'll go through that again. I'm gonna lean back and then I'm going to pull my chest to the rings, through, land, just like that. So we're gonna do that for five reps. Control, so I've already done two. That's three. Assisting with the toes. Pull, 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 pull. Four. And five. Nice. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna get upside down. Now we've talked about this before. You can get upside down by doing a little forward roll coming onto your knees and you wanna tuck your chin in. That's the easiest way. Otherwise we can get comfortable going backwards by going into half a chin up, kick one leg and control back into this tuck. Today's exercise, we're gonna go into inverted hang and we're going to drop into pike. I want you to compress as much as you can. Bring the knees right to the face. Notice my legs are horizontal. And back up. So we're going to do that for five reps. Let's get started. Into inverted hang. Control down. Hold. Pike compression. That's one. Hike position, two, three, two more, hold, four, and five. Whew, that's hard work. A lot of work on the grip strength. So take your time through that. Notice my toes were pointed, my knees were locked out. I'm trying to be as tight as I can, looking like a gymnast. So we're gonna go back through that and we'll do that for two more rounds. So assisting yourself with your toes as needed. False grip position. Catch your breath here, refocus. You're gonna drop back, keep the false grip, wrist in the ring, turn the hands out, elbows are locked, assisting with the toes. And pull, 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 pull to the chest, transition through into dip, control back down. That's one, we'll do four more. Big pull, two, big pull, Three. Turn at the bottom. Four. And five. Whew. So very uncomfortable in the wrists, in the skin, in the wrist itself, in the joints, maybe in the fingers. If you're really not used to that, it's all good you will adapt by discontinuing to go through that. So take your time. We're gonna get back into that inverted hang five pikes. So control at the top, control at the bottom, hold your inverted hang and hold your pike. Again, if you're getting comfortable here, half a chin up, lift one leg, control back into this inverted tuck and starting an inverted hang. And pike, and up, that's one. And pike, and up. Keep those toes pointed, knees straight. That's two, and up. Three, down, and up. Four, down, and up. And that's five. Whew. Shake out the wrists a little bit. We have one more round to do. 
So just rest those wrist fingers backwards. Now, the cool thing is with the rings, we can really go from very basic to very advanced, very fast. So if you find these difficult, take your time, your body will adapt. And if you're finding them easy, we'll then slow the reps down, really slow the rep down and focus on good quality form. So we're gonna do that for one more round and then let's get into our strength after this. So same thing on the toes, curl the toes under and lean back. We've got five transitions to do here. Turn and pull, 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 pull. That's one and down and big pull, two and down. And pull, three, and down, and big pull, 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 pull. Control, up and down, that's four. Last one, big pulling, pulling, pulling. And that's five, nice work. Give the wrists a little break. Those forearms are getting blasted. All grip strength. Grip is the name of the game on the rings. The only thing in contact with the rings is your hands. So we really want to train the forearms. Five inverted pikes. Let's go. Nice and controlled. All right. Jump into that inverted hang. Try not to be swinging here. And control down. Hold. Compress as much as you can. And pull. That's one. Compression. Hold. And two. Nice and tight. And three. And four. And five. Whew. Come on out of that. So let's just go into a nice little lat stretch. Reach your hand up onto a wall or the bar and then lean into the side of the body. So you can bend the elbow onto the wall, into the triceps as well. Take your time, hold that for maybe 10, 15 seconds or so. And then switching sides. Good stuff. So the next comp uh, component of this workout is our strength. And we're gonna be doing an inverted ring row with an assisted dip. So the inverted ring roll, we are going to do a false grip if you can. If you can't, it's all good. I'm gonna put the bench in front of me. And I forgot to mention, if you have a little bit of chalk, this is actually really gonna help with maintaining the grip, especially if you have clammy, sweaty palms. So, Keeping some good grip on the rings is helpful. Okay, so the first one, I'll just demonstrate these two exercises. We're gonna go into a false. Feet are gonna go on to the bench. Notice my hips are up in the air. So I'm squeezing my bum, my glutes are on, and I'm simply pulling using um, all upper back. So two things, if you struggle with the false grip, ditch it for now and if your feet are too high and you're too inverted then lower your feet down or you can even elevate the rings if if you like the second one is our assisted dip bench dip and we're going to go with bent knees on this one today and we really want to focus on 
turning the rings. So we're straightening out those elbows. I'm also pressing as tall as I can through the shoulder, nice and tall. And then I wanna see you get all the way down in the bottom of that dip and then press it out. Assisted dips. So let's get started here. Rep scheme, we're aiming for eight reps of each. If you find that any bit difficult, you start to lose the quality of the form, just lower the reps for now. Let's get started with our inverted rows. Now, with control, we want to not use momentum here whatsoever. Big pulls and control down. Okay, so let's get started. Hips up and big pull and control. That's one and pull, controlling down for two, pulling, and three, pull, and four, pull, five, pull, six, pull, seven, pull, and that's eight. So that's really challenging to hold on to that false grip. That's okay, that will adapt over time. And into our dips, so catch your breath here. No rush, trying to develop maximum strength here as much as we can in the body. All right, ready? And up into support position, control down, hold and press. That's one, controlling down. And pressing for two. Control, use those legs as much as you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh boys, that is going to get spicy. So if you find the eight rep count too high, lower the reps if needed until you can keep up to this workout. All right, inverted rows, catch your breath. 10 seconds, get yourself into that false grip, really get in overhand grip with the wrist. And let's place the feet up nice and tall. Hips on, glutes on, and big pulls for one. And pulling for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew. Catch your breath. Right into dip. Let's go. Ready? Three, two, one, and up. And down. And up. Lock it out. One, two, three, four. Use those legs as much as needed. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice work. Whew. All right, into rows, round number three. Get some chalk on if needed. Start to get those wrists in the ring. All right, and feet up. Here we go, let's get her done. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh man. 
That's a spicy little workout. Ring dips, 10 seconds. Big breath, refocus. Finishing up round three, two more to go. Ready? Three, two, one, and up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew. Shake out those wrists, move through the chest, move overhead. Grab a sip of water. So whatever else you need at this point, take a little break and two more rounds. Ready. Into that false grip. Let's go. Nice and strong, focus on this strength. Here we go, and one, hold half a second and control. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ah, good stuff. Ring dips. Whew. Ready, three, two, one, and up, and down. For one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Oh boys, major chest pump. Lats as well. So just stretch out the chest a little bit. Take 10 seconds. Each side, one more round. Nice little chest stretch. Good stuff. And let's get back into that last round here. Invert it, ring rows, nice and strong. Half a second hold at the top, control down. Here we go, three, two, one, and up. And let's go for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Whew. Good stuff. Dips. Whew. Ready, last one for the night. And three, two, one, up. And down, and push and hold, one. Lock those elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh man, it's always harder than we think. Starting off. So, Elbows onto the bench, and let's just finish with a little lat stretch here. Set the bum back. Stretch through the lats and the triceps. Bring the hands right to the shoulders and relax. Breathe, 30 seconds. Try not to arch the lower back, focus on the shoulders.
<sighs> and that is it for your last spring workout. Thank you all for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions or concerns or things that you want to work on, don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you in the next one.